The Sinking City. I wonder what happened to it. Dear Mr. Charles Reed, as you requested, I've researched the outbursts of hysteria and visions in the city of Oakmont, Mass. Massachusetts, I guess. It turns out that your assumptions were correct. Such cases are indeed more frequent here. Men and women from across the country are drawn to Oakmont, haunted by visions similar to yours. A city drowning, the presence of something great yet unknown. As luck has it, I believe we have stumbled upon the source of your ailment, and the people who might be able to help you with it. Prepare yourself, then come to Oakmont as soon as you can. I will meet you here to help you on your way. Cordially, Johannes Vanderberg. Alright. Frame rate's a bit, uh... <laughs> we were called the Ghoul Sailors. All of us dead except one. of body experience there. Well, this is downright spooky. Who the fuck is that? I have a dream within a dream. I have an inception based horror horror dream. Yeah, apparently this game has issues on the twelfth gen. So it's a, it's looking a bit jank. It's not my PC, it's their optimization. I tried to use my controller, but uh it it didn't work. It caused the game to basically lag out. Uh alright. Uh, let's, uh, I guess let's turn V-Sync on. Might as well. And then let's turn this processing to Epic as opposed to Ultra. I would have thought it would have gone Ultra and then Epic. Uh, we'll see if that helps, I guess. But even now you can tell, like, there's, it's, it's kind of like a stutter. Look at all this stuff I have to do. I got the Wazda, I got the climb, I got the run, I got aim, I got mouse fire. Melee attack is E, reload is R, crouch is left control, not C, which is correct. Interact is the same button as, as gun. Flashlight for F, mind's eye for Q. Tab for my tutorial. Well, to be honest, I, I guess all of this is actually just normal. Well, uh, let's check audio and let's just let's put, the, put the music down just a smidge, I think. Never All right. Trust a tourist advertisement. Oh my god. I might not do many more episodes of this until uh oh, until it's fixed. Oh. Oh. Oh, the mouse sensitivity when you're inspecting it. Hey, look at my gun! Oh, easy, easy. Hope I never have to use it, but something tells me I will. Well, the m menu told me I will. 
Uh, we've already, we've already read this. Casebook. This is where I'll solve my cases. Also, whatever that noise is in the background. Hey, what up? Now get out! Wow, everyone's everyone's At real last, calm here. Mr. Charles Reed. What a pleasure to finally meet you in the flesh. Nice to meet you. Johannes Vanderberg, at your service. I did promise to meet you the moment you arrived. Ah, much obliged, Mr. Vanderberg. I guess I didn't expect you to mean so literally. Please call me Johannes. But where are my manners? Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. Alas, now is not its finest hour, though it is its most important. Yeah, so this city, I had like four dreams coming into it, the within dreams, and then what is very clearly like some kind of sea mouth ate me. Reaching Oakmont was no easy task. Most maps I found didn't mark it, and this rickety packet ship is the only one that sailed here. Why is that? Oakmont is no ordinary place. Its unique geographical position and the flood, a recent natural disaster make it nigh impossible to reach. But you made it, Mr. Reed. I'm sure the tides of fate would have brought you here one way or another. Uh-huh. You said you know someone who can help me with my problem. The visions have been getting worse. Such vividness of dreams is not uncommon here in Oakmont. By chance, the man I spoke of, Robert Throgmorton, is already His name is Throgmorton. He has dedicated a lot of time and effort to investigate this issue. Alas, I fear he has a more pressing matter on his hands. Who is this Robert Throgmorton? I find Mr. Throgmorton. Don't worry, you can't miss him. Throgmorton tends to <laughs> stand out from the crowd. He's a literal frog. Tell me about this flood. It began six months ago. Storms raged for several weeks, and the water has risen ever higher without receding. Now so like a flood. is cut off from the mainland. I must say I rather like it, despite the inconvenience. Atmosphere, you know? Alright, well you're a bit weird. I'll need a place to lay my head while I'm here. Any recommendations? Fair enough. I've already feathered a nest for you. There's a room in your name at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Here's the key. Sounds charming. Don't judge a book by its cover, Mr. Reed. Anyway, what do you do here? How do you fill your days, Mr. Vanderberg? I, I play croquet. I philosophy club for the like-minded intelligentsia. Gathering seeds of thought like moths drawn to a play. Does Oakmont really have much of a market for philosophy these days? There is no consciousness without pain, Mr. Reed. No better moment for clarity than times of hardship. You caught me. It's a swingers What's club. the best way to get around Oakmont? You in? I'd like to drop my things at the hotel. Most locals go by foot or by boat. I've got the last Some travel by plane. Boat. There's one waiting outside the port. Ah, you're too kind, Johannes. Can you steer me towards the Devil's Reef? Take this map. I've marked the hotel and a few other key places. Other places? Like what? You're a private eye. My yes. house? Well, Wink. I've highlighted the police station, city archive, newspaper. Places you'll need to get to the truth. This city is insular. Its ways mysterious. No one will take you by the hand, so you better know where to turn in search of a lead. That's it for now, I think. Uh, thanks for helping me get my bearings. No, no. The pleasure was mine, Mr. Reed. Oh, before you go, how can I get in touch with you later? Just clap three Don't times. Worry about that. I'm the kind of man who finds you. Alright, well. We out of here, boy. I don't know when this is set. It looks like maybe post second world war maybe 50s 60s 
that guy's got like a Tommy gun, I think, and this appears to be like a mafioso shakedown. I don't care about your petty excuses. Oh my god. No one leaves the port until my son is found, and that is final. Uh, ahem. Uh, excuse me. Are you Robert Throgmorton? I am, but not interested. Go away. The name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator. He does stand out. arrived from Boston. I was told you might be able to help me. Private investigator, you say? Well, perhaps we can help each other. Anyway, what, what's up with your features? I forgive the question, but I've never met a man quite like you before. That's because no man measures up to the Throgmorton lineage. Proud and powerful blood. Oh, and a lot of incest in our family. Father united with a certain royal family. You have to no idea. All our offspring with these they let the Habsburgs into a zoo, features. and this is what happened. There is no god here. <laughs> if I may ask, what happened to your son? Why do you care? What's your angle, outsider? Well, like I said, I'm a PI. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, Albert was part of a deep sea expedition I commissioned. This useless fool over here says he found Albert washed ashore in a lifeboat. Says he was barely conscious, out of his mind, talking gibberish in some other language. That he even tried to bite him. And you don't believe him? Complete Albert does that normally. Malarkey. I know my Albert. I raised him strong and smart, the best of his kind. It couldn't have been him. Albert's disappearance is the work of Innsmouthers. Mark my words. Oh, oh. Just cool. wait, for, wait for the game to catch up a bit. Any second now. Smooth sailing. I take it you're not the biggest fan of these Innsmouthers. Those fish-faced freaks have overrun this city since the police burned Innsmouth. Buddy, to the let's ground. be real here. But no. Those filthy migrants occupy half this damn city. The port, Grimhaven Bay, Salvation Harbor, the shells. They are everywhere. So they're just refugees? <laughs> Hardly. They've taken work from the local fishermen. They stir and agitate against us, the Throgmorton family. We are the pillar Fun of this fact, this is, um, to mention that this is what UKIP thinks is happening. Simply speaking, they are a big stinking pile of trouble. This guy was going to be voiced by Nigel Farage, but they couldn't get him. It was too expensive. I've heard you're the man to speak to about visions, outbreaks of hysteria. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it myself. Another newcomer with another problem. <laughs> Sir, can we go up and hold yes, up this umbrella for a while? Speak of. Can I ask you a few questions? How oh, dare you. My son Albert is missing and no one in this Innsmouth, a ridden city, will do a damn thing. But yes, let's talk about you. I had a dream that there was a musical with a gorilla in it who sang. Do you know him? Mr. Throgmorton, let me help you. I'm rather good at tracking down missing people. Find Albert. What makes you think you can do it? Oakmont is not exactly friendly to new arrivals. Let's just say I tend to see things that others miss. And anyway, what have you got to lose? Sounds like you could use every man you can get. Vera. You have a point, newcomer. V Vera? Sorry, did you just say Vera? That's, that? that was my mother's name. You had better How did you know my mother's name? Dialect outsider. That is, if you want to fit in, it is a fascinating blend. Vera means fine. I was saying, we have a deal. I see. Thank you. Tell me about the case. Know more about what happened to Albert. Team, did you not listen at all? I already told you everything. After leaving that is true. He did, he did tell us all this Albert before. Albert was found on the shore in a lifeboat. This fisherman supposedly brought him to the house and then left to call me. But when I arrived here, my son was nowhere to be seen. Anything else? 
Clearly, something suspicious occurred inside the house. I suggest you stop dawdling and go see for yourself. All right, as I think I can I find the others. The weather, Mr. Throgmorton. It's time for me to get started. Find my son, newcomer, and be quick about it. Hey, what's I've up? i said everything I know. Don't do right. anything stupid, newcomer. And keep your hands where I can see them. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck is that? Alright, I'm... I'm sure, we'll, I'm sure we'll get to it all. Let me in. Alright, what have we got going on here? Fish? Do I have my gun? Gun. There we go. Now it's like a regular video game. I have a gun and I'm gonna fight an el like elder eldritch god or whatever they're called. So there I was, cutting up fish badly in my fish. Oh Jesus! Hi, an octopus or a yeah, octopus or a squid? I don't know. Where is he? Where is the sun? Hello. <laughs> Let's see what you find, newcomer. What's going on with, uh... What's going on with Tim? Tim alright? It would take tremendous effort to move this thing, let alone tossing it over like this. Who could do that? Hey, Hello? what's up? Hey, can you hear me? <sighs> oh, my head. It's okay. Oh. I'm Charles Reed, private eye. Mr. Right, right click also progresses content. Oh, oh, okay. What do you want? You good? I want to know what happened here. Every detail. I don't remember much. Me, Paul, and Lewis. We were here. This is our house. Barry was outside on his business. Then he came back carrying Thogmorton's son. He was unconscious, barely breathing. Barry left again to call Mr. Robert. Then what? We put the guy in Lewis's room. Then he started to make these horrible sounds and, okay, my head began to burst. And he woke up. And after that, I don't remember a thing, just dreams. Drowned streets, a sleeping giant, a voice that called me. Ah. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Were you also a fisherman? Tell me about yourself. Uh, name's Will. Will Hammond. I'm a fisherman. We well, all there you go. live here together. Me, poor fella Paul, Barry, and Innsmouth of Lewis Flynn. We moved here after the flood. I worked on the railroad, but the rail ain't kicking anymore, so... I started fishing. It was out of starve. Who is Kay? Who is this Kay you keep mentioning? Outsider, show some respect. Kay is our lord, our light, our love. Sorry, I didn't know. Is... Is... Is, is Kay like... Like Jesus? Where are all the other guys? Uh, that's Paul there on the floor. Kay be with him. Barry's outside with Mr. Throgmorton. Lucky rascal missed everything. I have no idea what Lewis or Throgmorton's son got to. Starting to suspect the worst. But I'm then also starting to suspect the less worst, and it's actually quite alright. Do you know how Paul died? I don't know. When I pulled myself together, he was already gone. Okay, have mercy on his soul. I'll leave you to it. Anyway, Take uh care of yourself, Will. Get, please drink a lemp sip. Sir? Tell me the truth. Could it be me? Did I kill Paul? Or... Okay. Did I kill him? I don't know yet, Will. The police will stop anyone coming in or out of here, so I suggest you just try and get some rest. I'm afraid of what I might dream. What about that? Anyway. Yep, that's me. Oh, 
all smeared version of me, but we're all good. Choo choo. Ahem. Alright. Choo choo. Ahem. What did I. What did I pick up? I oh. can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. Uh. A man in a science coat is about to run at me with a gun. Ooh. -oo. You know, I don't feel any more informed. Uh What's uh Take this, ape face. Oh. <laughs> so he came out, broke down the door, and then this guy shot him. And this guy's clearly a bigger guy wearing a suit. That's my understanding so far. Did anything... Ah! And then what happened? Yeah! Run! And then he toppled that over and jump through this. Right? How do I turn off this mind's eye thing that I'm in? Ah! Okay, I just have to leave leave the area. Trust, he kind of looks like you. I gave you clear instructions, did I not? Uh-huh. Nobody reacts to me pulling out a gun, which means these people clearly have greater problems. Oh. Okay, so that's just... you click and hold to pull stuff out. Good to know, good to know. Could have a mold infestation. If anything, I think this is the mold home now and you're squatting in it. Look at me, I'm a private eye. <laughs> Let's see what you find, newcomer. Well, I mean... Somebody shot him in I'm the face. I don't have someone's portrait here. I don't really know. Oh. Never seen knives like this before. Masterful work. Seems like prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much. Prohibition, so we're in the 50s, 60s. So that's what an in's mouther looks like. Well, like they look like a person. All right. Well, didn't mean to do that. Okay, you're fine. We out of here, boy. Don't mind me. I'm gonna go find that lifeboat. Wherever it may be. Alright. Oh, I found it. Can't catch a mackerel since those inns mouthers took over the fishing business. You like it here, newcomer? Well, get used to it. No one leaves Oakmont nowadays. Cool. I hope someone finds this. My name is Albert Throckmorton, and this is my will. I want to warn you, don't go to the depths below Oakmont. There's... something. We should have never done that. Everything should, should have remained in that cave. Professor Unreadable. I fear what will become of me. It's singing in my brain, dancing on my eyelids every time I close my eyes. Unreadable. The cycle goes on and on and on and on and on, unreadable. 
in the end it comes. I must warn everyone, I must tell my father. Unreadable, he's here. Cool. What happened here? Something with this helmet gives me chills. What's wrong with it? I'm sure it's fine. Into the sea! Wow, I can actually I didn't actually expect to be able to go out as far as this. Never mind. Invisible wall. I'll defeat you with the power of running. Oh. Hold on, I gotta take I gotta take the long way around. Oh, I am Hmm, those were tentacles. Interesting. Oh, I'm sure this is good for my skin. What do they call it? A seaweed wrap? Get off. There we go. Mr. Throckmorton, your son was shot in the face by Cthulhu. Do I win the prize? Hey, what's up? Mr. Throckmorton, I found this in the lifeboat. Looks like it's your son's will. Give it to me. Oh, my boy, what did you get yourself into? If only I hadn't sent you on that cursed expedition. Bye. All right, well, I guess the mystery's not yet solved. All right, where do I want to go? I guess these are these are things I can investigate. I don't know. There's, there's there's no there's no thing for for what the this thing it magnifying glass. There we go. I could not remember the name of it. All right. Well. Oh my god. This place is huge. Guess I'll go and. Uh, Leave. Farewell. Ah, oh, nice, a bar. I'm gonna get absolutely sozzled. What is that person doing with a walrus? Oh. Hey. Got a spare bullet, fella? I ain't eaten in days. Bullet? Don't mind if I do? No, that probably wouldn't go over well. Unless... Oh, yeah. He's talking about bullet. You look familiar, but old Billy hasn't seen you around. Who the heck old Billy? Stay alert! Monsters lurk underground. They're everywhere. Ugh, how miss the carpenter's food giveaway with this darn port closure? Do Billy Joel. Oh. Welcome to Under the Keel. What do you want? Goodbye. I apparently want absolutely nothing. I have everything I need. What the? Get the. Oh. What the? Get the. Oh. I'm sorry, did I interrupt you doing stuff with kelp? Or are, you, or are you actually the one that's sozzled? I got this. Ah, oh, my legs. Ah, Grimhaven Bay. What's going on the here? The port is closed by order of Robert Throgmorton. Back off. I was hoping I could literally just climb it behind him. You good? So the port's closed. Is that entrance to the port or exit from the port? Because this itself is a port. Nothing but textures on mounds. Uh, pretty sure nothing good here. What a mystery we're in. 
Except it's not really a mystery because we know it's some weird eldritch stuff. I've not exactly been that, that particularly coy with it, so... Oh. I did it. Can I go to the... Is this a door? No. I have a feeling I'm not supposed to be here. Although surprisingly that worked out quite well. A car I can drive into the sea. Never mind, people took the key. Anything in here? Nope. Okay. Can I not? There we go. Guess I'll go to the, uh, whatever it was called, the devil's mouth or devil's something. What happened to this train? Everyone's got to be more careful here, you know? Oh, can I actually just ignore the Grimhaven thing and climb up this? No. Unless. No. My character almost sounds like Liam Neeson. Not Liam Neeson, Liam O'Brien. But not completely. It just means every time he speaks, I'm like, my god, is that, is that Yasuo? Damn. We got some weird ass rats. These rats appear to have like pincer claws. I think nobody will mind if uh, I missed. Stay still. Come on. Stay still. Almost, almost, almost. Just, just kind of stop, stop. I have to examine you for science. So, they're like rats that have been like slightly bundled up and now have like crab claws and, and spider legs. Hey, what's up, y'all? I think I've determined uh, what killed your son and it's this place being pretty fucking weird. I've said everything I know. What about now? No, okay. Uh, where's the devil's thing? Let me look at the map. Pearl Lane. Where's this? Send your lifeboat. That'd be my boat. This would be the under the keel bar. This is all that kind of bit. So this is the thing we can't get through. And that's Oakmont. Police department. Hospital, Asylum, University, City Hall. So where the, where the heck is my hotel? What if I pick up that helmet and I use my mind's eye vision on it? Something with this helmet gives me chills. What's wrong with it? No, okay, it just makes me put it right back down. Gotta be careful, I'll run out of my mind's eye juice. Did you do it, Mr. Shark? Nope. Or do I go back to Johannes? Who appears to have gone. How ruddy mysterious. Hey, what's up? Can we go back? Now get out! Nope, fair enough. 
Welcome to Oakmont, Oakmont, a town on the rise. Ape's Bride. I'm sure that's going to go very well with Throgmorton. I gave you clear instructions, yep, fair enough. did I not? Don't mind me, don't mind me. Alright, there's got to be more of this I need to see then. Clearly something's not happening. What's happening? Okay, let's see what we have here. How do I... How do I see what we have here? I took a picture. I guess that's not the solution. But break. Never mind, that was my only brick. Medical? Alright, well. What's Let's just go one. Happening. How do I... How do I interact with this? That has one. And then this is two, and then this is three. How do I how do I make this two? Did I do it? Two. Oh, I just need to click Take on it. This ape face. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, run. When Albert Throgmorton woke up, he was not himself. He attacked the fishermen, and his hysteria spread to them. When he got wounded, he fled. And then uh, I'm being chased by the ghost of, of Prince Philip, apparently. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Let's see what you find, newcomer. Okay. Time to leave. I shouldn't have run over the body. That's probably quite disrespectful. Hey, what's up? I gave you clear instructions, did I not? All right. Uh. Okay, I need to switch to Mind Palace. Mind Palace. So, do I need to just pick one, one to the other? So Albert returned unstable. And attacked the fisherman. Meaning he was dangerous. And and uh, and uh Lewis shot without warning. And Albert fled when wounded. Nope, okay. Anti Throgmorton sentiment. Albert returned unstable. Nope, one fisherman was missing. Sudden psychotic outbreak. Albert fled when wounded. Albert and the fisherman named Lewis fled the scene after the fight. I can track them using my supernatural powers. Alright. Uh, Albert spread hysteria around with him, and I don't have anything for that yet. Oh, I could track down Albert. Time to mind eye the shit out of this. Uh, hey, buddy. Oh, this way. Okay. Okay, we we're running. But I can't run when I'm in this vision. Hey, what's up? We get that's a lot of handprints. We put this under what, like a UV light or something? Am I? Am I do I actually want to be here? Oh, okay. Oh. 
I did it. Metal scraps. Now I can be Iron Man. So where are we going? Running, 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 running. Whatever's happening here. Jeez. And then walking over this way. So the vision goes away. What do you want, rat? Okay, visions of, of me hanging. I'm sure that's promising. It's, it's clearly something around here then, right? But not here. It's like specifically in this bit. What do you say? What are you doing? Oh. Bullet shells? What so can I make on it? Fisherman pursued Albert. Even let off a few shots. Then we'll ran this way. Even though Albert was wounded, he managed to climb that high. Robert wasn't exaggerating when he said he raised him strong. Okay, then he walked this way. And then his head hurts. Now we got the letter H. Anything good in here? There's something in the pocket. Lewis, please, just give me one more week. I know I owe you, but I'm underwater like everyone else right now. I don't have yet have enough stock to operate this the bar smoothly with the fuzz snooping about the port. But don't worry, I've struck a nice deal with the proper people and should have a steady supply channel soon. Just one more week and I'll return everything with double interest. I don't know if that was relevant. Being this introspective is probably a bad thing. Walls are screaming at me. Oh. Nice bit of photography. Alright, padlock. Time to give out my old trusty gun. Oh, hey, buddy. One fatal round through the forehead. That's no accident. This was deliberate. Uh. Hmm. I wonder if this will still be here when I go back to tell him about it. Who could know? Lewis has a crime scene. Lewis pursued Albert. Damn it. Albert fled. Damn it. Albert, uh, Lewis pursued Albert. Albert was murdered. Lewis pursued Albert. Albert fled when he was wounded. Lewis may have wanted Albert dead. Uh, bar owner is indebted to Lewis. Albert was murdered. That's why he's there. Never mind. Lewis may be at the bar. Alright. Well. What else is going on here? You Gross. What about this one? This one's still here. I'll wear that as a backpack. Anyway, you stay there. I'm gonna go talk to people at a bar instead of telling a father where his dead son is. Oh. Door's locked. But that's okay because I came in from this door. Hi, Liu. 
I have two bullets in this gun. And not a very good aim. Spare a bullet. Stay alert. Hey, what's up, Lewis Flynn? I'm looking for a man by the name of Lewis Flynn. Any chance he's here? Yeah. Even if I knew, I don't rat to newcomers. When I'm gone, I can help. As it happens, I know you owe a debt to Mr. Flynn. Trouble is, I found your note near the dead body of Albert Throgmorton, son of Robert. So, it seems Lewis is in trouble. Might have even come here to hide. But you hand him over, and he won't be back to collect what you owe. Get me? Throck. That would explain the blood. Fine. If it gets me out of this mess, you can have him. So? He's upstairs. Here's the key. You gotta promise to deal with him once and for all. But save the shooting for outside, huh? Smart man. There's your good deed for the day. I did it. Yay. I've seen some unsettling creatures around. Like nothing I've ever encountered. What are they? <laughs> so you met a wild beast, newcomer. No one knows what they are, but consider yourself lucky to still be in one piece. They arrived in the flood. Some say they come from the sea. Others that they are Kay's punishment for us. And what do you say? If it bleeds, I don't you can say kill nothing. It. Oh my god. Keep your gun here. He says the predator line. And if you want to erase the memory, I sell a perfect cure right here. Remember, better to be a coward and live than brave and dead. Unless you're a newcomer. Alright, well, thanks, mate. Alright, come on out, Lewis. You good, buddy? Hey, who are you? What are you doing? Uh, oh. Charles Reed, private investigator. Here it is. In Mr. Throck Morton hired me to find his son, Albert, so I think you know why I'm here. Throck. That darn bartender. It was all that crazy ape's fault. You hear me? Calm down. I only want to speak, for now. But no, if you reach for your gun, you'll hit the floor faster than you can say poetic justice. I got nothing to hide. You killed you Albert. Oh kill. shit, I, I forgot about that part. Warning, no second chances. You pursued Albert even after he fled. Why? I... Well, I can't remember it. When he woke... It was like a, a bloody mist descended over me. First thing I recall after is that darn warehouse and me uh, covered in blood. I had no idea what happened, though. I suspected it had something to do with that ape. Turns out I was right. And if you think about it, that makes me the victim. Start at the beginning. What happened? We... We, we were in our house, me, Paul, and Will. Mary'd gone to the sea. Though I told him that it would only bring bad luck. If he'd listened to me, we'd all still be alive. Come on, Lewis. Focus. Lewis, I right. love... Well, I love what you're saying. It's just other Mary people's problems, I guess. Mary dragged ape to our house. He was bragging about how much Mr. Throg Morton would give us for saving his son. But that ape, he was out cold. Then woke in an instant and started screaming, attacking us. After that, can't remember a thing. Why do you look like that? Come on. What kind of... Uh, why do you... Your face, it's... Uh... Oh, so you're here to attack me just because I look different to you? Want to spit on me, whisper to your friends? What's new? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. I... I didn't know how to ask. I've just never met someone like you before. I didn't mean any offense. Innsmouther's bodies were blessed by the she. You're going to see a lot of us here, so you better get over it. We are proud of who we are. All right. The things you did to Albert don't look like a bloody rage. A fatal shot to the head, a hidden body. One might start to wonder if it was deliberate. 
Well, I don't know what to say. It, well, it's not, I so we can take that to court. I hear there's a bit of a feud between the Innsmouthers and the Throgmortons. Care to fill me in? Those apes hated us from the moment we arrived in Oakmont. Our home was destroyed. We just needed a place to stay. The Blackwood Grand family sheltered us, but others were not as hospitable. We needed jobs, food, medicine. The city denied it all. And so? We had to fight for every crumb of bread. And those Throgmortons in their high castle only made our life harder. Always conspiring behind our backs. Always setting people against us. I'd love to see them suffer like we suffered. You mentioned a grand family. What do you mean? <laughs> so you're a newcomer, huh? Explains a lot. Yeah. A newcomer with a gun. Answer the question. I mean, yeah. Okay. People here are crazy about bloodlines and tradition and reputation. The head hunters of Oakmont are called the Grand Families. There's the Carpenters, who control most of the city's underworld. The Blackwoods, who share kin with Innsmouthers through the Marsh family. And let me guess, the Throgmortons. Right. Those well, actually, the that's apes. a load more, but you skipped right now to the end. Now most of the Blackwoods are gone, there's nobody left to protect us Innsmouthers. I think I've got all I need. Please, Mr. Reeve. Don't tell Throgmorton about me. I know I'm in no position to ask. I didn't want to do whatever it is I did. Honest. Have mercy, please. I have a family. Without me, they'll starve. Uh... Doesn't... Look, it... I... I'll think about it. This is not exactly cut and dry. I need some time to think. Perhaps I can offer something to grease your grinds. I still have a few bullets on me. A, a deal. A few bullets? A, a deal. Um, it's, I'll, I came here to be a private eye and for a job for Throgmorton. And this guy might not remember anything, but that doesn't make, you know, that doesn't make it not still like a murder or manslaughter. You think you're the first person to offer me a bribe? Please, Mr. Reed. Now, don't try my patience further, Mr. Flynn. All evidence collected, don't mind if I do. Bro, you like, literally got bullets outside. Alright, I guess... No, I guess I have to mind palace it now. Mind palace. Lewis was aware of his actions. Lewis was mentally affected. I mean, he like he literally called them apes over and over and over again. I'm pretty sure he can't argue there wasn't maybe a rate like a racial species bias here. And the fact that he shot him point blank and then was like, uh, we gotta get out of here. I think I think Lewis is aware. Yep. I would do the job myself, but honestly, I need the bullets. Alright. Oh, we're coming. I solved the case. I found your son. I found this weird rat thing. Hey, what's up? Yeah, these strange Mr. creatures, Rockmore, though. Now, I've encountered something. Uh, what? I don't have all day. Some unusual creatures. And they sure weren't friendly. You've seen a wild beast, Mr. Reed. I'm somewhat surprised to see you still alive. Those unsettling things appeared after the flood. I've commissioned a few studies on them. But we know little more than when we started. They're aggressive, but fortunately, not immune to gunfire. Yeah. I learned that firsthand. Try to avoid them when possible. 
And when you can't keep your weapons handy. Anyway, I found Mr. the murderer. Gerard Morton. I'm afraid I have bad news. Oh, your son has also been murdered. Yeah. I found your son in the basement of a nearby warehouse. I'm sorry, but he was murdered. Shot in the head and the body hidden. No. It cannot be true. No, no, no. I don't believe it. No. I've tracked down your son's murderer. Where? Who is he? Murder is at the bar. Just as I suspected, the Innsmouth or Lewis is responsible for your son's murder. It doesn't matter where he's from, he's just somebody called Lewis. Bar. Just ask the bartender. Seems like he had a bone to pick with your family and took it out on Albert. Oh, that scum won't be getting off easy. The whole city shall see what happens when you cross the Throgmortons. Justice, bittersweet as it is, shall be served. It's rare for a newcomer to make himself so useful. Thank you. Mr. Throgmorton, I hate to press you, but do you think you could help me now? Yes. No. You've earned it. Okay, to think a newcomer barely off the boat solves a crime the police couldn't. They really didn't rest. try that hard, I, like, I'll be honest. What brought you to Oakmont? Uh, source of my visions? I, I think I'm going mad, Mr. Throgmorton. I see things, visions, and I needed to stop. I was drawn here, or guided, or but I believe the source of this madness is here, in Oakmont. You're not wrong, Mr. Reed. An inexplicable hysteria spread through Oakmont after the flood. I funded an expedition to explore recent geological activity that may be responsible. Why geological? A geological expedition? I'm not sure I follow. I have reason to believe the flood and this madness have the same source. As above, so below. So I sent men to find out. You think, uh... Well, I mean, what have you found? Has your expedition found anything? I do not know. Albert is... Albert was part of it. His passing cannot be coincidence. Why was he alone at the port? And where are the others? You think your son was killed because the expedition had covered something? Is it so hard to believe? I had no news for a week that Albert, the only one I could trust, comes ashore and is killed. It does sound suspicious. Mr. Reed, I want you to find out what's going on. I expect you're as interested in the expedition's results as I am. Let's talk payment what about my expenses. They will be reimbursed after you complete your task. And of course, you've earned some compensation for your work here at the port. I'll also include a fair advance in bullets. Ah, uh, bullets? The dollar lost its use here, Mr. Reed. After the flood. I'll oh, spare a bullet. To like spare, spare a dollar. Bullets mean more than bills. That makes well, sense. I'm going to look into this. I'll need to know more. What's a gun worth Where then? I start? Like a hundred bullets? I'll give you the address of the expedition's headquarters and a key. That's all you can tell me? Let me be clear, Reed. You do not speak to me like that again. I'm sorry, Mr. Throckmorton. I just meant the more I know, the better. I am a busy man. I funded the research but left all preparations to Professor Doe and Albert. When you've finished, come see me at the Throckmorton family manor. It's in Old Grove. Here, I'll show you. Pull out a map and you go right here, right on the Throgmorton Manor. Alright. Well, we've achieved the frosty welcome and the game appears to have actually calmed down and is not as graphically on fire anymore. So, we shall continue this in the next one. Bye for now.